Hello, crafting friends. Are you ready to make some coffee? Filter pumpkins with me today. So we are going to make actually two of them. We're going to make the honeycomb pattern pumpkin and then another folded one. So make sure to stay till the end and watch both. So grab for the first one for the honeycomb at least 15 of the coffee filters. Fold it, fold them in half, and then create and cut out the shape of your favorite uh, pumpkin. It really is easy. So now we are just going to create our own creases because I do not like the package creases the coffee filters come with and because I decided to use white I'm just going to crinkle them some more straight them out and that's it all those package lines are gone so now I'm going to sort my coffee filters in one by one folding them in half and just simply stacking them on the top of each other to get ready for our actual uh, pattern so let's create the pattern so I have the craft stick but you can use a paper you can use cardboard whatever you can draw three lines um, um, on it and then let's just follow this so we're going to start gluing our halves um, right in the middle following the squiggly line that I have of my craft stick in the middle just like that I am using the hot glue but I am literally using a minimal amount of it just um, to literally wiping uh, the nozzle off right um, to glue them all together because you really do not need much of the hot glue to hot glue the coffee filters okay so now look at what happens we got our uh, halves um, glued in the middle now we're going to add glued halves and glue them right following the pattern on our craft stick um, on on both sides and just simply stack them up all over again how stinking easy is this pattern right so now look what happens let's just open this up and then we do have a gorgeous honeycomb of course there will be some areas that they need help to open up a little bit but of course that is not a big deal here we go let's do it one more time we do have a gorgeous honeycomb so now we need to uh, connect those beginning and the ends by just simply gluing them in two places because remember we are adding the uh, um we are uh, connecting the uh, the other edges of the coffee filter so that's it i thought i was recording that portion but um after i glued them uh together i just simply added my um, stick from the yard and that's it i've got myself a stem a little bow a little bit of the uh the raffia and that's it the first pumpkin is done you can decorate it anyway but stay tuned i'm going to show you um, other ways you can decorate those pumpkins so here is the first one we just made i absolutely love everything about it so let's go to a second one with the second one i just simply uh, dyed my coffee filter slightly orange just so it will be a little bit different and then of course started to group them um, if you've never dyed the coffee filters before make sure to check the description of this video to see how you can uh, dye your own hey so for the second one all what you need to do is just grab four or five coffee filters in a groupings and fold them twice in half how easy is this project right you can literally use any colors um, uh, that you like to make that pumpkin i make sure also uh, to check the description i'll show you all different ways of decorating this pumpkin and using all different colors of your um, coffee filters to make one okay so my um uh, triangles are done it looks like a little Christmas tree right there huh we got another idea and now we are going to bring the uh, stick from the yard and begin the gluing so notice what I am doing I'm just simply gluing first my coffee filters right on the sides and simply making sure that they are all together and creating a sort of the harmonica out of them how easy is this right just simply gluing it so now when you have all your sorted um coffee filters um glued together grab your um stick and then glue them all together right on its edges as i can as you, you can see i am doing it right now and then stick your um stick right in the middle and then close it up look at this how stinking cute is this 
you could actually make them a little bit tighter. I mean, it all depends is how many coffee filters you have um, on hand, but I absolutely love its shape. So now, of course, a little bit of the uh, uh, leaves that I have out of my picks and whatever leftover pieces I have um, or you have in your stash, a little bit of the uh, satin bow, some pearls right there, some artificial flowers. You can actually roll them all yourself. And that's it. Our pumpkin is done. How easy and how unusual that is. I cannot wait to show you some pictures. So here it is. I love to display mine on the uh, silver tray, but any tray would work. I love everything about that pumpkin. All those little details and layers, super feminine. Always nice to have it um, as the centerpiece. I loved making them so much that I've created all different versions. So here is another one that I simply use the rolled up uh, coffee filter roses with some picks and of course, look how pretty this all looks together. Nice little vignettes. So I hope I inspired you to grab coffee filters and make some coffee filter pumpkins. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Thanks for watching my friends.